So, Sansi, you got your contract sorted to the end of the season. <clears throat> Do you mind if I ask, actually, who, who handled that for you? Glenn? Glenn Foy. What does he know about marketability? What does he know about endorsements? Sansi, next season, I'll get you a gap ad. Crunch. Lies. There are lies. There are false promises. They promise you the life of a rock star. With all the women, the beautiful homes you can only dream about, exotic cars you can never say no to. But in the end, there are lies. It's all a scam. So I'm having to return my Range Rover. I can no longer give payments on it. They promise commercials, magazine covers, so much endorsement money. And the Adidas endorsement money? Well, they ran off with it. So I'm sitting here reflecting, knowing I should have just listened to Glenn. He was right all along. You know, your plate's getting so full so fast, you should watch what falls off the edge. I mess up. I lost my Range Rover. It's gone. I'm gonna have to be driving my my old Mustang around. But now I know, man. It's it's one of those strong, powerful lessons that that you can only learn from. You know, I, I'm only 20 years old, and I will definitely learn from this. I should have just ignored it. Glenn warned me. So enough of that. It already happened. Let's get to this. We have an international friendly in our hands. Defending the Mexican national team, my country, versus Australia here in the Azteca. So, yeah, we're going to have our hands full with this one. Australia is a very good team. They got the first play of danger right here. Oof. Thankfully, that goes slightly wide, and they didn't score very, very early on in the game. Only the second minute, but in the seventh minute, we have our first play of danger. Here we go. Look at that. The way I cross over the defender. I see the space, and the keeper with a great save right there. I thought I was going to score there. I should have scored there. I should have finessed that, actually. 15 minutes in, I'm taking another shot from outside the box. And once again, the keeper proving that he's worthy. Herrera with the ball. Herrera, great pass to Jimenez. Cross that beast or shoot it at least. The keeper with the great man. What? What's going on? This dude came out inspired. Here's Australia with this play. The header and... No. Oh, okay. I, I heard a whistle. There we, there we go. You caught it, ref. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Offsides. Good eye, ref. Good eye. 28th minute. He managed with the ball. He goes to Savala. Savala crossing the defender. Over. Takes the shot. The deflection. Yes, sir. There we go. 1 0. 29th minute. Savala with the lucky, very, very lucky deflection. Because if you see on the replay, the, the keeper would have probably stopped that, man. That dude is on a row. That dude came out inspired. He's stopping everything but the deflection. Impedes him from doing that and Mexico going up on top 1-0 and we're not done yet, baby Let's try to do some more damage 34th minute Herrera once again with the ball Jimenez read that baby. There we go. Beautiful play 2-0 right here. No Why ah, I could have defined that so much better man. That would have been 2-0 definitely 36 minute once again Herrera Herrera the post unlucky right there that almost went in off of the keepers back And that's how we go to the locker rooms halftime 1-0 over Australia. We're playing decent, man. In the rain, I'm, I'm actually not very used to playing in the rain, but I got to get used to that, man, especially because now I'm playing in the BPL. It rains a lot over there. So 53rd minute, look at that beautiful cross in the keeper. Yep, you guessed it. On a big plan, great save from him. 75th minute. I'm going to test him once again, and yes, he answers it. He's like, I, I'm good, boss. I can do this all night. So I said, oh, really? Can you do this all night? Sanchez with the ball. Sanchez going to test him once again. The dude came ready. The dude came ready because if it wasn't for that deflection, eh, the score would have probably been nil-nil. We would have tied this game. But we don't. The ref blows the whistle. We win this game, this friendly over Australia, 1-0 with Savala's lucky goal. Man, I'm, ser I'm serious. The keeper was on a big plan. 6.6 .6 match rating. I really wasn't on a big plan. I don't know, man. I just got a lot of stuff going on in my head. But that's definitely not an excuse, man. We're professional footballers. We're grown men. And you, you, that's not going to fly. That's definitely not going to fly. So we got to change that chip, man. We got to turn the switch on. Santi's got to go beast mode, man. 
You're defending your nation on the pitch. You do it proudly and you do it to the best of your ability. So here we go, baby. This game versus Colombia. Colombia has a strong team. I don't know if Falcao is actually in this lineup. I think this is like an alternative lineup, but they still got a strong team right here. They got Jackson Martinez in the front as a striker position. He's a very, very strong, very, very talented striker. So, uh, you know, they, they definitely, they definitely got, got some, some talent in the Colombian squad. And it, this is not going to be easy at all. So here we go, baby. My team is going to need me. I can't slack off like I did versus Australia. Colombia early on showing us the first player danger. The shot comes in extremely close, but I heard a whistle. Yes, sir. There was a, a there was a foul in the play, apparently. So the long cross comes in. The header goes to Gulit Peña. Peña, give it back to me. Here we go, baby. It's a fast break. Get ready to sing it, sing it, sing it. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even explain that play, man. Only like three players touched it after Colombia had that shot. And wow, I mean, that's the type of striker I aspire to be. A striker that only needs one shot and, you know, he's lethal. Lethal. So I put, put it in the back of the net. Great save from Cirilo Saucedo in that last play you just watched. But Colombia is not giving up. Here's Aguilar. Aguilar, another shot. And oh my goodness, Colombia is putting on the pressure for real. 31st minute, Chaton Enriquez with the ball, Chaton, look at that beautiful pass, I get rid of the defender creating space, the shot comes in and the keeper steals what would have been a beautiful goal from me, only a few minutes later I'm disputing this ball running after, oh, oh no ref, no ref, I'm sorry ref, no, Ooh. Ooh. wow, I could have sworn I was going to get a red card right there, I was already resignated, I was already going to start walking to the locker rooms, but Wow, I, I think that should have been a red card. Don't don't tell anyone, but that was a horrible tackle. Wow, my bad, man. I, I apologize there. Look at that. Cirilo Saucedo. Oh, no. Jackson Martinez on the rebound, unfortunately. Ah, Cirilo Saucedo, our keeper, had made a great save, but Jackson Martinez was there at the right place at the right time just to push the ball into the back of the net, tying the game in the 43rd minute. Ah, we could have just held on for a couple more minutes, man. We would have been, We would have went into halftime. You know, with a 1-0 lead, unfortunately. And uh, apparently, Colombia is not done yet here. Rodriguez, Jaime Rodriguez with the ball. Guarín, Guarín, Saucedo once again. And Ibarbo once again on the rebound. My goodness, man. I mean, we, we just could not hold on to that 1-0 lead. Once again on the rebound. Great, you know, effort from our keeper. But the rebound falls to a Colombian player. And just like that, in a blink of an eye, they're up. In the scoreboards, two to one, and look at me. I tried this shot from outside the box. Very long shot. Unlucky right there. It goes slightly wide, and that's how we go to the locker rooms. Two to one down at halftime. Man, I mean, just in a blink of an eye. They 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 you know they flipped the switch and now they're up. So here is Gulit Peña with about 66 minutes. Here we go, baby. I'm making plays, I'm creating some space, and no speed of the keeper. Look at that. I mean. Did you see how fast the keeper recovered from that, man? I could have sworn that ball was still going to go in. 76 minutes. Here's Angulo. Angulo and our keeper once again with a great effort. Great save. And our defense clears that ball. Fast break play here in the 79th minute. It's getting late in the game. We definitely got to put this one away. I see you, Guardado. Yes, sir. Beautiful timing right there. I, I just had to wait for the right time to send in that cross in. I had to make sure I was precise. And look at that, we tie the game with 10 minutes remaining in regulation. Two to two, all tied up. Andres Guardado with that goal in the 80th minute. Whew. But Colombia, Colombia is not giving up. Colombia is at home and they're motivated. Ibarbo, oh my goodness. How did he miss that? 89th minute, one of the final plays of the game. Once again, Ibarbo trying from long distance, getting extremely close. Last play, final play of the game. Ibarbo, third time's a charm. Puts it away. 90th minute. Pretty much giving Colombia the victory. <laughs> Unlucky, man. Look at that. Oof. I mean, great placement. No way our keeper was going to get to that ball. Colombia going up in the scoreboards. The final play of the game. And they steal the game 3-2. to two. They deserved it, man. They had more chances, more ball possession, and they won this game. So, bros, enough of this. Uh, this morning, I woke up to, to tragic news, man.
to news that you never expect, to news that you never want to hear. Cristian El Chucho Benitez has passed away at the young age of 27 years old. He recently played for the club that I love with everything in me, Club America. He left as a three-time consecutive top goal-scoring champion. He left winning the championship last season with Club America. I see the news and I just, I wish that this, this was all mistake, man. I wish this, this wasn't true. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to even express it, but it truly does hurt, man. Thank you on a personal note, Chucho. Thank you for, for all the great goals, for all the great memories, for, for leaving it all on the pitch. You know, when you played, when you defended Club America, when you defended Santos Laguna, when you played with your national team, with Ecuador. You know, thank you for all those great goals. It was truly a pleasure just seeing you play. You will be missed. You will never be forgotten. Rest in peace, Cristian El Chucho Benitez.